Hey guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs HD, bringing you another tutorial. Big surprise. Today I'll be showing you how to do the handwriting effect in After Effects Pro. The final outcome will look something like this. Okay, so this tutorial was affected by Blue Drank FX, and I thought I'd show the rest to you as I thought it was quite a good tutorial, and it's very, very simple. Maybe a bit fiddly, but simple. So you want to go to Composition, New Composition. I'm going to make mine 1280 by 720 as it fits the YouTube player, and I'm going to make it about 5 seconds. Uh, click OK. And then you want to go to New, and go to New Solid. Now, first of all, I'm just going to make click make comp size, comp size that will just fill the whole screen now I'm going to make a backdrop for it so I'm going to go to effect generate and I'm going to go to ramp I'm then going to change the ramp shape to radial lamp then I'm going to get the little circle and I'm going to drag it in the middle so it exceeds out from the center I'm going to make the end background a dark grayish and the middle a little bit of a lighter gray just gives a nice backdrop effect then I want to go and insert some text to go to the text tool, type in the middle, and I'm going to type in designs, and I just want to go and center up, so you can click title action safe, and you can just basically center up, so it hits the center of the field. Then you can turn it off by unticking it. And now the font I'm using for this is Tags Extreme. Uh, this is a Quite a nice graffiti font. I, I believe you can download it from Daft Font, so just type it in and download it. You don't have to use that font, of course. You can use whatever one you want. Just thought I'd let you know what I'm using. So now, what you want to do is you want to make it so it looks like it's being handwritten. So hovering over the layer, the called designs, I'm going to go to the pen tool, click and hold, and go to pen tool. Then I'm just going to zoom in, and now you want to basically just draw over the text as you would when you're actually writing it you try and get it in the middle if you can because it's always better and try and reach the whole of the letter as well it doesn't matter if you go out of the text because it's only applying to that layer so it really doesn't matter so you just wanna keep going around the text try and stay in the center if you can it's not the biggest deal in the world but it does look a bit better and now I'm gonna go to the top and start with I went over so I go to the S I like to start from the point that you actually would when you're handwriting so I start from the top of the S and I'm going down and then I'm going to go to the bottom of the I just go around the text doesn't matter about going on the outside as I just said go to the I and then dot on the I then I'm going to go to the bottom of the G no, I'm not, because it's under the A. Go to the top right of the G. Go around. Go up, and then go back down. Just fill the whole text, then go there. Go to the top. And back down. And back up, then go round. I'm going to go to the little S. Just keep following the little lines. Okay, kind of rushed it towards the end there, it's a bit skew with, but just try and take your time on it if you want a better result. And so basically to get rid of that select, just go to the select little pointer tool. Then on the thought on that, you want to go to effect, generate, and you want to generate a stroke. Now you want to increase the brush size until it pretty much fills the majority of the red. Okay, so I've got it at 11.4. As you can see, there is some red gaps around here. Um, that is not to bother as long as it's not as long as it's minuscule, not a lot of them. But anyway, that's all right for now. And then when you've got the stroke, you want to change the paint style to reveal original image. And as you'll see, it should bring up that. Then if you just click off it. You need to scrub through, you'll notice nothing happens. And if if you change the end to zero, you'll see as you go along the timeline. No, not if you come along the timeline. If you increase the number, it will start to write for you. 
this will just from wherever you started it will show that first so you can now keyframe it so basically hit the little stopwatch before end at the beginning you want to have it to zero and then when you go to the end of how long you want it minus five seconds you want to click a hundred percent so I'm going to turn off the mask by clicking this button here and as you'll see that gives a nice handwriting effect there you go that's about it it's quite, really simple to be quite fair just to mask around it but I think it can be quite cool effect when used quite well I don't know what I'm on about anyway so that's it for today's tour you can also maybe I don't know add some color more a bit more depth a bit more of a stronger red if you go to you can go to four color gradient Positioning colors and just make it different shades of red. Um, top red. Or a darker red. You can obviously use what color you want. I like quite like a red color. And there we go. That's about it. It creates a bit. You can drag these about so it's all different. Everything anyway. That's it for today's tutorial. And uh, comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.